Yeah, your tabletop. You still buy? Yes, big brother, tabletop to hit the snow shed. I'm going. out of town for a week and uh, then we came back and them cat niggas uh, tried to work me to death. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened when you're the best. That right? <laughs> That's what I get for volunteering to go to Chicago. Them, them cat niggas had some work for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> you should have got a call though, right? Man, I should have learned in the army you never volunteer for nothing. <laughs> So, uh, on a, uh, a tram, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's the call. That's the call. He's all right. He's good, though, are you? Okay, uh, uh, Kevin, you needed some crystals? He wants some powers or something, you know. I think that's what he would tell me. He wants some powers, and, uh, he saw you on the book, and so, didn't nobody... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the call from him. Um, uh, I missed him a couple times. I was in Chicago. Then I got back. Uh, I started catching up with all my uh, missed calls and business. And uh, I couldn't help him out, though. He looking for some um, old parts, some old crystals. And them 50-year-old crystals, they, they, don't, uh, 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 they don't stay on frequency. I told him, I got the same thing you got. I got some old ones, but them cat niggas is off. <laughs> well, he did the best he could. That, that was, that was him, you know, him and I were talking. You know, I said, well, he, he might care and, and he might not too. You know how things go in the radio, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. You never know what a gap make a god, and uh, it was worth the try. If I had him, I'd, I'd try to get him for him, but uh, uh, I got the same thing he got, and he got the same thing I got, so. Uh, we talked about a few things and, and said some praises about you, and we went on our way. <laughs> I heard that idea. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. oh, I think it was your mic that went out. I hope it was your mic and not this old radio. <laughs> my mic. My mic. I didn't squeeze the trigger as usual. <laughs> no, he seen ten eight. He seen like a straight cat nigga. Um, I liked the way he talked and what he talked about and all that. Uh, 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 you know, he he had a good vibe about him. Uh, that's a shame I couldn't do nothing for him because I know what he looking for and knew what he need. That didn't have it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. He kind of said the same thing, uh, cause uh, at first I was a little, you know, surprised, like who this. And uh, when he mentioned you, I was like, oh, oh, we cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you be comfortable then, man. You know, too worried about that. How's the wife? Oh, yeah, she okay. Uh, she was out and about doing some stuff, and the uh, old car broke down. Uh, so it's in the shop. So we ain't gonna say a hundred percent, but uh. Of all the things that could go wrong, that's something that can be fixed. So we all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something can be fixed, man. She, hey, everything down here, that man put his fingers in too. Hey, another man can get it together, though, right? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I be working on the machines at, at work, they be talking about these cat niggas break. I say everything that man make break now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sure right there, man. It was all about that. Well, you just got back from vacation, man. Shoot. Uh, I know you ain't been keeping up with all the games going on, so. It looks like we might do pretty good in the, in, in the football league, though, right? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know about that. Them, them cap niggas need so much. You you think they're going to be all right, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the first year, you can't do too much the first year because they're not going to give them an open slot. No coaches get that highly. But uh, he know how to roll, so they're they, they going to deal with the defense. And that's what I wanted to hear, all right? Oh, they got a new coach. Who they got? What the fuck you know? Oh, man. Sure, he come from New England. I don't bother with the beard. I can't, I can't, I can't get his name again. Now, I don't bother with the beard. I'm uh, coaching him down. Uh, can't think of his name now. The coach over there? Uh, ooh, wee. Man. The New England Patriots. He is our uh, 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 defensive coach over there, bro. I know who you talking about. I can't name the name either. It's past my bedtime. Woo-wee. Yeah, I've been working, and uh, I ain't been on vacation yet. Well, I'm on vacation now. Uh, I, I was in Chicago like two weeks ago, and then I came back, and they had all this work waiting for me, and I caught up with that. And then I'm like, now it's my turn. I've been watching some basketball, but I ain't been keeping up with the football. Well, <laughs> man. You see, uh, the draft is Thursday, and they've been, uh, we got the coach from over there from New England, Patriot. You know, the one with the beard on New England? The one with the beard? Man, what was that thing in there? He here. He here with us now, so. We should, we should do pretty good, and, uh, you know, we're going to draft a few players or, or either, uh, or either make a trade, but, uh, one day we show they, they they want some good defense, uh, the uh, pass rushes. They need uh, some good pass rushes there, right? They show enough need that too. Show do. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of glad they, the boys might be looking up, but uh, I ain't gonna jump on that bandwagon until they fill them holes in that roof. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I gotta give my boys courage down there. He was out there with Alan Powell the other day, so I want them, man, uh, to be on their best. They want uh, they want to deal with their mindset. They don't want you just want to come in and pick up a paycheck. Yeah, you get your mindset. If you want to play, play. We're going to let you play. But uh, you don't feel like you want to play. We're going to hold you there, right? No, you don't need stupid, and, and you don't need cat niggas making mistakes and messing up and, and talking about, I'm sorry. <laughs> Exactly, you making a million dollars and you messing up, talking about, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Uh-uh, get rid of them cap niggas. Uh, 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 don't hire them. You know, old Norm, he be talking about, put them on the bench. It's like, no, nah, get rid of them cap niggas. <laughs> Tell you, man. I can't, boy, I just can't wait, boy, to go out there and watch them practice, man. Woo-wee. I want to see them, boy. I want to see how tough them my duck going to be. And I'm going to put my two cents in, too. Before they kick me out of there, right? Man, I think they're going to be a lot better. I remember going to a preseason game, and uh, the other team was uh, uh, warming up and stretching, and, and everybody was, you know, had a routine and, uh, and stretching them knees and them thighs and them calves and that back and all that, and, and the Lions was just messing around. I'm like, look at this. <laughs> Identified, but nothing, nothing that you got that in your pockets, you know. Don't show no trick plays or nothing there, right? 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, 23, real good. I just wanted to holler at you. I've been messing around in and out uh, all day. Heard you in there a few times. Uh, heard you talk a little bit of good skip there. <laughs> Hey man, I was gonna video gate it and uh, 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 and you was you was rocking and rolling. My cat making radio went out. It it, it might have been your loud mouth, cat <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Watch it when you pump up over there, cat Mickey. You be taking stuff out. I'm go. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Cat niggas want it, but they don't know how to get it. Now I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a little black night, my brother. I'm so glad to hear from you, too, man. You don't mind what I'm glad to hear from you. Be well and be blessed. Love. May the Lord watch this over you and yours. I'll see you. Yeah, may the good Lord take a liking to you, but not too soon. I'm gone. <laughs> All right, that's it of the Browning uh, Mark II receiver with the uh, Collins filter. And a, uh, even though the label's off, this is a uh, Browning BB30 business band transmitter. Um, it's not a uh, Mark II or Mark I. You can see the, the big tube and the uh, oversized transmitter. I mean transformer. That's all factory. This is a BB30, uh, very rare uh, transmitter. Actually, it does about, uh, tees about 10, swings to about 30. Factory, I'm going to put it on the watt meter right quick. <laughs> I think I'm on there. There you go, key and 8. Audio. That's average. So you can bet that one's not going anywhere. Uh, my very rare uh, Browning transmitter. I'm go. Bye.